And that's why Zero Linux existed, because mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't want to go through this convoluted way of reading the wiki, uh, copy pasting commands left and right, having to SSH to be able to do it uh, more freely by copy pasting commands instead of having to type them all in. But that's a way of targeting new users. But then those new users are going to judge whatever they install by the way Arch install did things. Mm-hmm. So it's not fair to, what I'm saying is, it's not fair to judge anything if you installed it via Arch install. You need to get your hands dirty and do it yourself and build, because that I am now, ever since I stopped maintaining Zero Linux, I have become a real ambassador of uh, Arch. <laughs> like, if you want to build your system and know everything about your system from ground zero all the way to the way you want it, mm-hmm. use Arch or use the likes of Gentoo or anything that uh, asks you to dig your hands into the system. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I, I love it. I love building Arch brick by brick because at least then, if I suffer any issues, I know where, to, where the issue comes from because i installed that package therefore i caused my system to break not arch Mm -hmm. sometimes yeah issues slip through the cracks through the arch cracks we've seen that with grub we've seen that with many things yep yep (laughs) absolutely um recent change with glibsy yeah yeah glibsy yeah yeah glibsy was the biggest one of the biggest issues we've ever seen Mm -hmm. but they did redeem themselves when the XZ issue showed up. Yeah, that was really surprising. They weren't even affected, yeah. and they're like, here, problem. Okay, did, did, is someone else writing this blog post? Like, what's going on here? Arch never says yeah. anything in a reasonable amount of time, especially when it's not... Like, if it doesn't affect their core installation, Arch never says anything. Like, it needs to be part of, like, a base for it to be something they want to talk about half the time. Yep. Actually, that I think in this case, it, I I think XZ might be in base, but it just doesn't affect the um uh the install we have on Arch. They updated the ISO. Uh, they released one on the 29th of March mm. to, fi- to include the fix, and then they released one on the 1st of April. So, mm, mm. so basically, they were on top of things. They were doing their job correctly, and I was really happy and surprised. Yeah, and they updated and they updated the package. It is in base, just added yes. dash two. Yeah, it is. And now they released another update to unlink it from SSHD. So anyway, Arch was not linking it to lib ZMA, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, ZMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Arch was safe. So I'm like, Arch, safe? Fixing it? That's a surprise. Mm. Uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, issues slipped through the cracks from time to time on Arch. And it's the nature of every single distro. Like, issues slipped through the cracks with Fedora. Issues slipped through the cracks in Manjaro. Yesterday, I was watching my good friend uh, Air Max. Kudos, Air Max, you're doing a great job. Uh, he uh, encountered an issue where installing OBS from their repositories because, oh, who knew? Uh, Montaro have OBS on the repositories. I didn't know that. Uh, but if you install uh, OBS from rare, their repositories, they include a driver VDAPU, mm. lib32 VDAPU uh, driver. If you mm-hmm. install that, OBS will not launch. He caught it on stream. I mentioned, I reported it directly uh, upstream to Art, to uh, Manjaro. They're going to fix it with the eventual release of Manjaro with Plasma 6 because they're still on Plasma 5. And guess what? Manjaro, for being rolling, they're still on the 6.6 LTS kernel. What? I guess that's, if it's an LTS kernel, I guess that's fine. Like, if, <laughs> but yeah. They're I... ISO- their ISO, their ISO is from December. Did everyone just take a break for the past five months? What are they? Yeah, it's, it's okay. a long break, but sure. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and once you update the system after installation, you will get a 2.5 gigabyte update. Mm -hmm. but you're still on Plasma 6 and you're still on uh, Kernel 6.7. Do you mean yeah, Plasma 5? Plasma 5 yeah. and... Yeah, they are still on Plasma 5. They don't upgrade to Plasma 6 since they maintain their own packages. Mm. And the maximum kernel you're going to get it, that you'll have to manually upgrade to using their Manjaro settings is 6.7. In their repositories, they still have 6.8 RC6. <laughs> uh, look, I, I guess it looks yeah. fine. Manjaro's doing the Manjaro thing, I guess. Yeah, but come on. And, and they have rolling on their website. Uh, they're just rolling very slowly. Excuse me, but that's... <laughs> they're rolling very slowly. They're dragging a truck behind them. They're going so slow. <laughs> Manjaro's always but, been like that, hey, though. Like, if it's, it's... it's nothing new. But if it's stable, why complain? Sure, It just yeah. works. Minus OBS. Forget about OBS. Well, they're going to ship a working version at some point. All right. Look, maybe it's For broken. Creators, it's it's broken, so they forced you to go run the flat pack because then you can actually have a working version of the application. You shouldn't be running the native package of, anyway. 